Hello, my name is Ashley Bogle, and this is my environmental science lecture project. So our project is about environmental justice. The definition here says environmental justice is the fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people, regardless of race, color, national origin, or income with respect to the development, implementation, and enforcement of environmental laws, regulations, and policies. So the case I chose was the Dixon, Tennessee case. Right here it says that the Dixon, Tennessee case, the poster child for environmental racism and toxic dumping in the USA. Dixon County um, is a county located about 35 miles west of Nashville. There was a major health impacts over there from drinking the water from the poison wells because there was a hazardous waste from a nearby landfill. So at this landfill, every couple of days, weeks, or maybe months, someone would come and dump hazardous waste nearby. Um, it was something kind of like a super fun site. Um, for the summary, about 10 years ago, toxic waste has been dumped in a landfill near a black town um, residing to the whole family and others. During the action of dumping waste, the Holt family consumed various types of cancers and others around them contracted health issues also. The government barely came to update the water system after solving the problem in a white town only miles away. The Holt family won a lawsuit eventually acquiring them $2 million in a solution to the water problem. Rationale. So the water system was damaged, um, it was poisoned, and nearby they changed the water in the, um, the white town. They changed their water to the local city water, but the black town continued to have the hazardous waste water. So for the rationale, authorities wanted Monitor, they wanted to monitor the bad water quality. There were elevated levels of TCE, a suspected carnagen. The TCE levels hit 24 and 29 times higher than the maximum contaminant level standards set by the federal EPA. So there were health problems affecting them, like the cancer, respiratory issues, and other health problems we learned about in this course. Um, these problems were hurting the locals, the whole family, anybody that was still connected to the hazardous water. Um, discriminatory factors were relating to not changing the water to the city water like other locals. Why is this conflict important? Discriminatory factors discarded the health of African American families. This is an ongoing subject and has meaningful importance in relation to race and other criteria that hurts the well being of some Americans. What should be the takeaway or the lesson learned from this conflict event to better promote environmental justice? The takeaway should be that humans need to gather around, mediate global and local problems, no matter the race and other attributes, environmental justice could be bettered eventually if we follow this statement. So I believe that instead of setting ground laws it should be people that come together, help mediate, and help 
solve issues no matter the subject of the problem, who was affiliated with the problem. The problem just needs to simply be solved instead of having so many criteria or factors that hurts the um, subliminum problems. What is either something you learned from researching this topic or information that surprised you from the research on this topic? I've learned to literate my problems in a justified manner and to regulate my doings for others, not just by outside factors or just the appearance of someone or the way they talk. You just need to be a helpful person no matter what what society wants you to do or what society program you to do. Thank you.